So, now let us discuss Ohm's law. So, see here according to Ohm's law, the current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference applied across the ends of the conductor, provided temperature and physical dimensions like you know physical condition you can say like the length, area of cross section of the conductor remains same. So, under this condition current is directly proportional to applied potential difference. So, we can write according to Ohm's law, law I is proportional to V or you can write here V is proportional to I. We can also write here V is equal to R I where R is here the proportionality constant and this R is known as resistance, resistance of the conductor. But R is called a proportionality constant. So, now we can here discuss this relation here V is proportional to I. We can draw its I V graph. Suppose you have taken I here, V here, the graph you will be getting like this a straight line. Now, you can calculate its uh, you know slope also. This is here delta I and this is here delta V. This is theta here. So, we can write here slope is equal to slope of I V graph is equal to delta I upon delta V which is equal to actually 1 upon R. So, here this one, but if you are taking in this case V i graph in place of the I V graph, if you are using V i graph, then you can write for the V i graph, this is V and this is I, the graph is a straight line for the Ohm's law, provided temperature and physical condition remains constant. Then the slope can be written here delta V and delta I and here this is change in potential difference and change in current. Then we can write here slope of V i graph is equal to here in this case that can be written is equal to delta V upon delta I that is equal to R. So, R is written actually V upon I, this is delta V upon delta I. Suppose change in potential difference is 1 volt and current is here 1 ampere, then we can written as here resistance of the conductor is 1 ohm and represented by this sign omega. So, SI unit of the resistance is here 1 ohm. 